Hi, I'm Cheryl from Science for Kids and today I'll be demonstrating how to make a compass. The materials that we will need for this experiment include a magnet, a piece of wax paper, a tea pin, and a bowl of water. Be careful when handling the tea pin as it is sharp. First, I'll take my tea pin and my magnet and work on the side of the table. I'm going to grab one side of the pin, I'm using the pointier side, and then one side of the magnet, and then rub it 20 times like this. And make sure it's a circular movement and not to go back and forth. And once, when, once you are done rubbing it around like 20 times, you're going to flip the magnet like this, and also flip the T pin, so you see the T side now. And then do the same motion. Make sure to remember to keep it a circular motion and not go back and forth. Do it about 20 times as well. With the pin fully magnetized, we're going to grab a piece of wax paper and then kind of thread it in so it stays in place by poking two holes. Make sure not to poke yourself. It should look like this. And then now we're going to drop it in our bowl of water. You have now made a compass and soon enough it should be pointing north. Make sure to keep the magnet far away from the pin as so you won't interfere with its magnetic pull. So as you can see, the magnet is pointing this way, meaning that the geographic north pole of our globe is this direction. Let me explain how it works. Around the 12th century, it was discovered that when you let a magnet flow freely, it will naturally point north. So once you rub the pin on the magnet, it basically charges it and makes it like a small magnet. And then when you place it in the water, it gives it free movement to point wherever it wants to and it will naturally point to the geographic north pole as the local magnetization of the earth allows it to. That's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye!